In this example, we are going to utilize the empirical rule. You can see it right here. The empirical rule approximates the proportion of the area underneath the normal curve within a given interval of standard deviations. The empirical rule is, is more like a, a rule of thumb. It helps guide us when we approximate probabilities for a given scenario. So what it states is that if we have a mean and I'm going to put in a mean right here. This is, uh, this is mu. Don't forget, mu is a mean of a population. The mean is the measure of central tendency. It goes right in the center. It's where everything tends to gather. That's why this normal curve is highest at the middle here. And then we count off a standard deviation um, as we go up our number line. Don't ever forget that this is a number line. That's important. And as the number line increases, we add a standard deviation for each uh, interval here, and here's my standard deviation. Here's your there's sigma. Don't forget sigma represents the standard deviation of a population, and we keep adding a standard deviation as we go up the number line here. Consequently, as we go down, we subtract the standard deviation. So the empirical rule states that within one standard deviation from either side of the mean here, and I'm just going to put it in like this, this area in here, if we were to fill this in, that represents approximately 68% of the data. Within two standard deviations, I'm just going to put it in like this, within two standard deviations from the mean, this represents approximately 95% of the data. Within three standard deviations, hopefully you can see it down here, within three standard deviations of the mean, the area under here represents around 99.7% of the data. So you can see that 99.7% of the data is going to fall within this span right here. That's almost all the data, right? So now, if I put in these increments here, so if 68% of the data falls within one standard deviation from either side of the mean here, then that must mean, and these are all even increments, that must mean that this is 34%, and this is 34%. Of course, 34%, 34%, that's 68%. If from here all the way over to here is 95%, then I already have 68% here. I have to add another 27%. 68% plus 27% will give me 95%. So that must mean half of it's going to be over here. That's 13.5%, and the other half is going to be over here. So that must mean this little area right here, that's 13.5% 13 13 of the area that falls within these, these standard deviations here. If 99.7 goes from here all the way over to here, then I have to add another 4.7% to my 95%, or in other words, I'm going to put half of it over here, 2.35, and 2.35. So it's just a matter of addition and subtraction along the area here. Now don't forget that since this goes off into infinity, our number line goes off into infinity, so does the normal curve, so does the graph. It gets infinitely close to the x-axis as it goes off into either direction. So there's still some little bit of area here, right here, that goes off into infinity that it has to be accounted for. And that's 0.15%. And of course, if I add up the 0.15, the 2.35, the 13.5, the 34, and I do it again here, 34, 13 and a half, 2.35, 0.15, add it all up. That's going to come out to be 100%, which is all of the data, the entire area under the curve. 
So now we can use that understanding of the empirical rule to answer this scenario here. It says the gas mileage for the 2020 3.5 liter V6 Ford Edge with front wheel drive forms an approximately normal distribution. That's this here, this is approximately normal distribution with an average of 24 miles per gallon and a standard deviation of 2.3 miles per gallon. It says here, use the empirical rule. So we're gonna use the empirical rule to estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get less than 24 miles per gallon. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have a mean here of 24 miles per gallon and a standard deviation here of 2.3 miles per gallon. So then here is my mean, 24, and then I add 2.3 for each increment as I go up. 24 plus 2.3 as 26.3, and I keep adding that. I keep adding 2.3, this is 28.6. And of course we're going up our number line here. This is 30.9. I do the same, except now we're going down the number line, so I subtract the 2.3, 21.7, keep going, 19.4, and then 17.1. So now this normal distribution here describes this scenario here. We have an approximately normal distribution. That's this. It has an average of 24 miles per gallon. That's right here. And a standard deviation of 2.3 miles per gallon. And that's what we did for each increment. So now that we have this all set up, we can now use the empirical rule to answer uh, each one of these letters here. Estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get less than 24 miles per gallon. Well, here's 24 miles per gallon right here. I'm just going to do this. And this is the area that's in question here. And as you can see, that's half the graph. So this is 50%. Estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get less than 24 miles per gallon. That's this right here. That's 50%. Letter B, it says, estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get more than 21.7 miles per gallon. Here's 21.7 miles per gallon. So we're talking about this way. So this amount of area here, using the empirical rule, we know from the middle here, the mean and over, that's 50%. So then from here, 21.7% and 24% using the empirical rule, that's 34%. 34% from here to here, plus another 50%, that's 84%. So estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get more than 21.7 miles per gallon, 84%. For letter C, estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get between 26.3 and 28.6 miles per gallon. So here's 26.3 and here's 28.6. So we're just talking about this little area this little proportion right in here. From here to here, using the empirical rule, that's 13.5%. So estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get between 26.3 and 28.6 miles per gallon, 13.5%. 
13.5%. And finally, for letter D, it says estimate the percentage of Ford Edge vehicles that get less than 17.1 miles per gallon. So here's our 17.1 right here. So we're just talking about this much down here. Don't forget that this goes off into infinity. So using the empirical rule again, that's 0.15%. So estimate the percent of Ford Edge vehicles that get less than 17.1 miles per gallon. That's 0.15%. And I think we have it.